Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this absolutely freezing late December 2022 day we're doing a quick walk around video on this absolutely gorgeous, uh, very very desirable 2021 Wild Axe Pulsar. So, Wild Axe, they're a, a British converter from Yorkshire, they're part of the French giant Rapido group these days and they do very high quality, very innovative British fan conversions with British tastes, um, layout wise, but European levels of sort of build quality, but British levels of high spec. So they're really interesting thing. Now the Pulsar, I've sold motorhomes for nearly 20 years and I think this is probably one of, if not my favourite van I've ever sold in 20 years and the most popular one I've sold in that time period, are certainly up there with them anyway. We absolutely love these, it's a 4.99 metre short wheelbase van conversion with a full toilet and shower, a kitchen with an oven, uh, four seat belts, four doors, five doors including the rear ones. Um, and they are brilliant, fully facilitated, short wheelbase, so 4.99 metres, to put that into context, that is shorter than a long wheelbase Volkswagen, it's 9 centimetres longer than a short wheelbase VW camper, yet you've got all the toilet, shower, heating, oven, everything that a full size coach built has got, but you'll fit it in a parking space. Now a Range Rover is 5.2 metres, these pickup trucks, these Ford Rangers, stuff like that, they're 5.2 metres. So it's literally a van that you could use day to day if you wanted to. A lot of my customers who buy these, they will use them as a second vehicle or even an only vehicle and still have something where you are fully self-contained. So they are amazing vans. Sadly this year, Fiat Citroen, Peugeot, Stellantis who build the chassis uh, announced that they were no longer going to be producing the 4.99 metre short wheelbase van. And in fairness in the wider commercial vehicle world, there wasn't a big market for short and yet wide and square commercial vans but for the camper it's perfect um, now the big plus side of the Citroen Fiat cab is it's square it's very nearly square whereas the Ford and the Merc and certainly the VW which is narrow you can't sleep across ways to make this layout work with a full toilet and shower you need to sleep across ways so sadly that means the Pulsar as we know it is more or less done. Uh, we've got I think one cancelled order, new one left and we've just been lucky enough to take this one um, back. It's a van that we've sold before. We actually sold it to its previous owner I did and um, she had uh, an automatic one which was heavily delayed on order and so bought this as a stopgap with the idea of selling it back uh, on or shortly after her auto one arrived which is just what's happened. So looking at this particular one, it's a 2021 on a 21 plate manual gearbox based on the Citroen so that means it's got the 2.2 140 horsepower engine that's the latest Euro 6D so you've got the very latest emissions rating with uh, AdBlue for the engine which is great for, for low emission zones things like that uh, standard level of spec was magnificent with Wild Axe so you've got metallic paint this one's in um, Oh my god, I've forgotten what it's called. You can't get it anymore, but it's a it's a very light gold. They call it something white, but it's actually a very light gold colour. It's a good looking van. It's absolutely immaculate. Um, so we've got the silver style pack with the eggshell grill, full colour coding, Citroen alloy wheels, LED running lights, which you can't get on the new ones anymore. A uh, little stubby short arm electrically operated heated uh, mirrors. Got an awning light there with a J rail drip stop. Uh, you could use that to attach a small driveway awning, or we can fit you a C rail out there to fit a caravan store wind out or fold out or a proper sort of camper style driveway awning. Full colour coding on all the door handles. We've got an electric step drain point there for your fresh water tank. The uh, fresh and waste water tanks are about 80 litres or so. They're under slung, they're heated and insulated as standards. So in this sort of weather, you'll still be able to go away without anything freezing up, which is not something you see with many British van conversions. So, so we've got Citroen alloy wheels, fresh water fill up point there. We've got the flue for your heating system. So, this uses the same heating system that. 80% plus of all vans do, so it's the Truma gas and mains electric powered combi boiler, so it runs off gas very cheaply from your gas tank when you're not hooked up, it runs on mains electric when you are hooked up. Coming around to the back, so Wild Axe cleverly uh, to fit everything into this, they've moved the spare wheel from underneath and mounted it on the rear door, and that means underneath you can have your water tanks. 
you've got standard four center reversing sensors across the back and a high level reversing camera and that will display on your five and a half inch Bluetooth uh, enabled stereo system with TomTom, -tom, uh, SatNav, Pan-European and DAB. Flush fit, proper double glazed windows, not glass windows like Autosleeper use. Uh, these are lightly tinted ones for privacy. Opening up the back doors, so you've got a rear sort of galley kitchen and a front lounge layout, which makes best use of the cab seats. I like the way they've carried the, pa the uh, panel on there to stop drafts getting in, very clever. I like the use of, wherever possible, these extra little storage bits. You can't have too many of them. Again, very, very clever. Your toilet dump point there, that's where your cassette comes out, and then you can load. I've got customers who actually, you can have a door mounted bike rack, they do a special one, or we can fit a tow bar, have a tow bar mounted bike rack. But I've got customers who actually push a bike into there as well, which you could do. You might have to fold the handlebars to do so. We've got the more expensive and quieter on the road concertina style blinds and fly screens all the way around. Main hook up here, it's got a 100 amp hour leisure battery. There is room for two if you wanted a second one, or we could fit you a solar panel on the roof or both. Is that a little tiny mark there? Yeah, just a little, oh, that'll rub off that. Vents for your three way fridge freezer, so it uses gas from your gas tank when you're not hooked up. Mains electric if you are hooked up, and it uses the engine alternator while you're driving to keep it cool. Sliding window there for your kitchen, handy because you can have that open when you're driving, bit of airflow for your dog or your passengers. Another window and the sliding door, two sliding doors on these, amazing, one on both sides. That's really cool because you can get the full airflow, you can open up either way if you're on a European campsite. You can open up this side, uh, you can have both open, it's really, really clever. Good for your passengers as well. Gas is provided by an underslung gas tank, so there's a 20 litre or 20 kilo underslung gas tank under the van. You fill that up at an LPG petrol station. Where we are in South Devon, there's five within 10, 15 minutes of here. Uh, it will last you absolutely ages that, so it's much bigger capacity than a normal gas locker. Benefit is you can fill it up abroad as well with an adapter all across Europe, which you can't do with Cala Gas as well, and it's much, much cheaper. It's only, what is it, 90p a kilo, so way cheaper than Cala Gas and available as well. So opening up the front there, this one's just come in so we've not cleaned it but it is mint, apart from Chris our driver's dropped a bit of chocolate on the driver's seat but that'll clean up alright. We've got leather gear stick and steering wheel, we've got the gauge for your gas tank, eco pack because it's the 140 engines that comes with the eco pack as uh, standard instead of uh, the 120 engine which was the entry level one. Six speed manual gearbox, steering wheel controls for your stereo system. Stereo system, as I say, it's five and a half inch. It's touch screen and buttons. It's got TomTom SatNav across Europe, DAB Bluetooth uh, for your phone calls and your radio. And um, underneath of that, we've got air conditioning, cruise control, heated wing mirrors, central lock-in, and ASR advanced traction control twin airbags. Full cab lines, both on the front and on the sides, courtesy of Remis. So yeah, nothing to add there. Uh, both cab seats swivel around. So yeah, body works perfect, van is basically perfect, it's second hand but it's very very good. So then we come to the inside of the van, so you're straight into a front lounge. Now front lounges have had a massive resurgence in the last two years, and that's because if you're going out for the day, because you could use this for a day, you could use it as your everyday car, you're going to the beach, you're up the moors, taking the dog for a walk, you can open up one or both of your side doors and just let all the outside in, it's great. It's a lucky step. Now you've got an adaptable round, so you've got forward facing seat here, now this seat can slide out to become a sofa like that one currently is, that one can slide up to become a forward facing seat like this one currently is, um, and simply put your backrest there in the middle to make a, a good size double bed. I say good size, it's bigger than your camper van double beds and it's not far off the size of most others, so it's 6 foot 6 foot 1 lengthwise, sleep transverse, uh, or about 4 foot 4 foot 1 widthwise. Your backrest can also be put away completely if you want to have your arrangement up as two forward facing seats which you might do if you're using it as a four seater car and that will just fit into that locker there. Coming into the van we've got so twin swivel cab seats, uh, you've got mains and USB charging point there and we've got three potential table locations. So you've got two tables, one there and the other one lives in the same place behind this seat, one slightly bigger than the other. You can have one by itself there as a coffee table, one by itself here, or put two um, 
in there and it makes one bigger one so you can have four people comfortably dining which is really really good having a quick look around the van so while let's put their own roof on because there was no five meter short wheelbase chassis available with a factory high roof but that's better because that means you've got loads of real good size storage cupboards the one over the cab is massive i can barely reach the back of there but your carpets in there your h frame which is what you drop in here to support the end of the bed infill Real nice lighting, we've got LED spots all the way through as well as these which are ambient ones, you can touch it once or twice depending on how bright you want the light to be. Headrest for your seats, um, previous owners left a really nice Avtec Smart TV in this, that's about 400 quid's worth. We don't check or guarantee audio visual equipment but that will be left in and it's virtually brand new, I'm sure it's absolutely fine. Wardrobe, you wouldn't expect to have a good size wardrobe in a short wheelbase 5 metre van with everything that this has but it does, more clever use of space table legs hanging row and then more storage underneath and another plug socket down there. there's plug sockets everywhere really really good now the kitchen this kitchen yeah it's small but it's not small this would put some eight meter a classes to shame it's really really good so you've got a nice bit of work top there we've got a three burner or two burner on this one gas hob and sink above a combi oven and grill i like these these are pull out storage things for all your kitchen food and stuff your fridge is on the small side but it's plenty big enough it's the same fridge i've got in my camper your ice box there plenty of storage i actually did a couple of months sort of semi full time in my camper van this year with a fridge of that size and it's fine just buy fresh plenty enough for the other stuff three more high level storage cupboards and you've got a big opening skylight as well as well as big opening windows in both of your doors all with blinds and fly screens again best use of every little bit of space a mains and a 12 volt socket in the kitchen controls up here for your heating and your uh, main control panel for the van is all very very straightforward and intuitive to use and then your bathroom which there's no other van of this length with a full toilet and shower in a proper separated area so you've got a domestic chemical cassette toilet uh, which is basically the same as a Thetford but it's got a ceramic toilet bowl which is nice good deep sink uh, your shower is courtesy of a proper separate shower hose and head rather than trying to make your tap do two jobs like a lot of vans do and look at the storage even in the bathrooms you've got an opening skylight for ventilation and then you've got one two three big storage cupboards really really good and the towel rail nice mirror there for doing your hair light switches and it's all basically in immaculate condition. So it's 4.99 metres long, it's 2.2 uh, wide to the mirror tips, 2.05 body width, that's about 15 centimetres wider than a VW camper, I think, don't hold me to that, so it's six inches or so wider, makes all the difference. So this just makes a transverse double bed, very easy, you can do it well under a minute, probably under 30 seconds once you've practised. And it's a lovely thing, I love these, and I was absolutely gutted. Um, when we found out that the chassis was being discontinued so there was no more of these original pulsars but they are so desirable we used to sell between 30 and 50 of these every single year which is a huge amount for one dealership to sell of one model of van but there's nothing else it can do what a short wheelbase pulsar can do it will come back as a 5.4 meter van this year but it won't quite be the same will it i think anyway so this is 57.95 it's a manual um citroen based one it's done 7,000 miles a new one today i mean they are sold out they've been sold out for ages they're just literally now delivering the final sold five meter short wheelbase pulsars i've got one left which is built and about to be delivered it's got a few bits on it it's on the fiat it's the x8 auto and that will be bringing it in about the 73 mark so you can have this one 7,000 miles, mint, manual, but a nice light gearbox clutch, things like that. 57.95, save yourself 16 grand and it's available. But if you do have the budget for it, you want the very last available, probably anywhere, maybe anywhere, ever, um, short wheelbase 5 metre automatic on the Fiat X8 Pulsar. I've got one left that's unsold and that's going to come in next week. And that'll be about 72, 73. Um, contact us. I'll tell you exactly about that anyway. So we are Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. We're down at Newton Abbott in Devon. You can call us on 01626 832 792. Now, if we're busy out here with customers or doing videos, either leave a message or even better, give us a ring on the mobile 07432 662 558. Check us out on the Highbridge Caravans website, www.highbridgecaravans.co.uk. Or just come in and see us. We're just off the South Devon Expressway, which is over there. That's the uh, busiest road in South Devon. 
we're right next to it straight off the dual carriageway um, don't hang around these are sought after they will genuinely sell quick so if you want a used mint couple year old 18 month old pulsar 57.95 give us a call hybrid remote homes devon thank you very much